we definitely take, you know, Virgil Ortiz, you know, it don't matter who it is. It could be Virgil Ortiz, Earl Spence, Bud, Keith Thurman, who guys. I just want, like I said before, I just want to fight all the top guys and show the, the world, like, my real talent, you know, and, and not these lower class guys. Let's get to it. So we got some possible good news when it comes to Jerome Boost Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. Now, it's never good news when somebody can't do something or somebody can't attend a fight. But in this case, I think things are being set up just the way they need to be set up. So, just in case you guys don't already know, Cody Crowley is not going to be able to fight his upcoming fight, July the 13th, with Jerome Boost Ennis. This is what's being reported by Mike Hoppinger. And he tweeted, Cody Crowley has been forced to withdraw from his IBF welterweight title fight versus Jerron Ennis on July the 13th in Philadelphia after he failed his pre-fight eye exam. Sources tell ESPN. Crowley said at last month's news conference for the fight that he recently underwent eye surgery. So whatever eye surgery he went under, I'm guessing it wasn't healed all the way or it just wasn't ready. I don't know because he failed the eye exam is what's being reported. So he had to withdraw from his fight. Fight. Now, you guys probably already know about Tim Zhu also withdrawn from his fight when it comes to Virgil Ortiz. And this is what Mike Coppinger reported for that. Tim Zhu has been forced to withdraw from his August 3rd fight against Virgil Ortiz on the advice of his doctor, who said the former champion can't yet resume full contact sparring following the gruesome scalp cut he suffered in an upset loss to Sebastian Fondora in March. So, you guys know what that means. That means that Jerome Boost Ennis and Virgil Ortiz most likely gonna meet up and fight. Now, when is the fight gonna be? Because Jerome Ennis, his bout was for July the 13th, and then you had Virgil Ortiz, his bout was for August the 3rd. Well, if Virgil Ortiz wanna fight for the title, and Boost Ennis is the one that got the title, he's probably gonna have to move up to Ennis' date. So instead of him fighting in August, he's probably going to have to just move up to July the 13th and fight for that day because like I say, Ennis is the one that got the belt. Now honestly, I think this is going to be better than Ennis fighting Crowley. This is what I really wanted to see. And even though Tim Zhu would have been a good matchup for Virgil Ortiz, I really wasn't really big on that. I mean, I was going to watch it, but this right here, Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz. This is the one that I really want to see. And for anybody saying, bro, how you know it's going to be Virgil Ortiz? Well, I don't know, but it is highly likely. Let me show you what Jerron Ennis tweeted himself. He said, if it's Cody or not, I will still be fighting a top contender on July 13th as planned. Don't worry, in all caps. I mean, who's the other top opponent? It's Virgil Ortiz at 147 right now. Virgil Ortiz. I mean, I'm thinking that's who he got to be talking about, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but think about it. That's who he got to be talking about. Now, there are other guys at 147 who are top guys, but as of right now, I'm thinking it's going to be Virgil Ortiz. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping it's going to be Virgil Ortiz. Holla at your boy.